this compost here we've had, it's organic and it's sat for a good 12 months, probably about 14 months actually this lot. So this is what's going to be the disabled toilet come toilet in the field. It's not on its platform yet, um, but there's the beginnings of the shed and that will be painted green. There's a bit of the roof and that's going to be situated in that area over there. And then next to that will be the duck house, which we haven't got yet, which we will get. But yeah, just thought I'd show you, that's the beginnings of the toilets being built on site. It's a beautiful day on Applewood Acres. The sun is coming up, it's shining, it's only early in the morning. I'll take you around. Look how lovely it is. That's for our tea break. So it's gorgeous. But what's been happening is the start of the new toilet yep that's going to be the loo it's going to actually be a disabled loo as well so anybody visiting will be able to use it um, so they've just managed to line the inside i think that's plywood or something like that i don't know anyway they've just lined all the inside i painted it yesterday like a dark gray this actually, ignore this bit, but this little shed started life as a little microgreen shed. This is where it all started. So it's quite sentimental um, and we're turning it into the loo on site. Um, so it'll be quite good. So I'll keep you updated with this. There's still a lot of work to do. Um, it'll have a compost toilet in there. And there's Pip being a pest with a ball. She never stops and Ollie just mooching about it's really warm today we had a really hard frost this morning um, but it's it's really lovely and warm and if you see down there we'll do a video on it but down there is the roost stout potato bed and just a little update on the garlic which I'm sure you've seen already but it's doing very 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 well and that's on the no dig bed and there is another type of garlic to go in the bottom they won't be planted until November, possibly December. But there you go. So today is a day where we have some volunteers. We have Norma, Paul and Naomi and they're all coming and we're going to make a start. So it's quite exciting, but we're going to make a start on creating the no dig beds using a deep mulch of compost, well rotted horse manure, cardboard and compost. So we're going to make a start and doing 50 foot beds on this area here 
and when you lift the tarp now the grass is really sort of clover and grass because we've had a cover crop on this field for the last two years because the soil is so hard and bad um, I'm not broad forking we're going straight on top but there's a plethora of worms and insects and bugs and all sorts when you lift the tarp in fact let me show you let's go down to this bottom corner it's probably easier so the microbiology the ecology of this soil now underneath has greatly greatly improved and this was just probably i don't know two months might not even be that oh, let's move that way so there you go there's a typical patch you see worms so from a really barren dry manky field we have life now last night when i lifted there's another worm now bearing in mind when we dug a hole in this field there were no worms to be seen and there you go in this little square here we've already got one two three four there was on there five and probably a lot more as well so it's really done its job so we'll cover them over so we'll probably get i don't know maybe two or three done this morning the guys want to come and learn how to do it it's very simple it's a great way of starting beds my issue is i need a measuring tape and i need to make sure the measurements are right <laughs> So it's a 50 foot bed, 30 inch wide. And we only use hand tools, so it's quite cool. Anyway, I'll come back later. So the guys today are taking all the sticky tape off the cardboard, ready to go down onto the no dig beds. Working hard. So we're now laying the cardboard down on the first 30 inch bed, 50 foot by 30 inch. And the guys are laying the cardboard down and then we're going to wet it. The well-rotted compost is coming in now, as you see on the tractor, and that will go on top of there about six inches deep. But I'll come back to you in a bit. Here comes the well-rotted compost. Now this will be the middle layer. So this compost here we've had, it's organic, and it's sat for a good 12 months, probably about 14 months actually, this lot. But as you can see, it's rich, it's dark, so everything that we use here, that this compost is all from site. So we're now wetting the, the cardboard. Um, need to tip quite a bit of water on it just to soften it up before the compost goes on. But the dampness of the compost, and we have had rain, will help. But um, that's the next stage. Just wet the cardboard down. This is a toilet that Dave made. <laughs> it's still to be finished, but we thought we'd show you where we've got to so far, or where Dave and Shadow have got to so far. <laughs> what he likes to be called. Uh, go on then. So, open the now door. We've, we've actually turned the shed, which started the whole process and journey off. Our little backyard vegan, oh, Micah yeah. Green Shed. It was the Micah Green Shed. <laughs> So you open the door, ta-da! It won't look like this soon because I'm going to decorate it. But basically, what have you done? Well, we've lined it all with OSB, yeah. which you're going to decorate. I am. Compost toilet up the corner. And that's got a 
we wee diverter in it separator as well. In it, yeah. It's from separate, isn't it? Separate, that that yeah. toilet seat. You can buy the toilet seat separate to like the compost toilet, yeah, which is yeah. really affordable. I think and it's ninety nine pound. That comes up. That's where the bucket and the put the tube on for the diverter. And you said you were going to put a fan. Yes. To take any yeah. whiffs away. Yeah. What we're going to do? We're going to use black drain pipe because this is the south side of the shed. So we'll come out the top of the boxing for the toilet, elbow, straight up with black pipe, which means when the sun's on that, it'll warm the pipe up and the hot air inside will rise and it'll create a natural draw. Oh, okay. So it should pull. And then what's happening in the corner for washing hands, etc. Because obviously if you go to the loo, we'd yeah. expect you to wash your hands. Well, at the moment, we're just going to put one of those sanitizer hand wash stations in so waterless waterless sanitizer and then eventually we've got a little um, stainless steel sink that we can fit into the corner so okay. that uh, you can get there to wash your hands properly and that's going to be run by solar on the roof hopefully yeah we're going to put um, a, a, a thermal solar tank up there so the sun will heat the We need tank. a small one really, uh, only it's only just for washing just hands, isn't it? Yeah. And we can top it up as and when. That's it, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. It. But the fact that Applewood Acres now has nearly, not quite, but nearly a functioning toilet on site, so you don't have to walk out, like miles away to go to the loo or nip behind the bush. That's it. Um, and also you said you were going to put a ramp, so there'll be disabled access into that as well. We're going to make um, uh, just a, a ramp that'll sit across there, yeah, but then when we're not using it, we just lift it and stand it inside. Yeah. Yeah, because it, if any disabled do come, then that's there's, it there's a toilet for them to use, yeah. which is really important. And it, it helps because it's got the double doors so they can get in. Yeah. And then